All right, what's going on out there, folks? Rooster here in Tennessee, roostercb.com. Got a radio that's going to be listed up for sale under the used and special items. Uh, Galaxy 55 HP, they don't make these anymore. This is not a brand new radio. Um, it does have the box and all the original stuff with it. But I do believe it was lightly used. Uh, it doesn't have the original plastic or anything like that. But it does have the mic, the bracket. Uh, looks like it has the power cord and everything. And again, it does have the original box and the uh, insert that goes in the box. So I'm uh, going to put this one up for sale. They don't make these anymore. Um, I wouldn't call it rare. I mean, it was a mass produced radio. Uh, you don't see a ton of them coming up for sale. And I just sold another one here uh, recently that sold pretty quick. So uh, just going to run through it, test this one, show you that it works, show the output of it, make sure it receives, uh, check the... Uh, the um, the range of the variable power and go over all the features of it real quick and we'll get this video wrapped up and uh, go from there so first things first i'm just going to show you that it does receive key up the cobra 90 in the background and there you go about nine s units just dummy load to dummy load so that's always a good sign well i've got the cobra 90 on roger beep roger beep works just fine plus 10k hop works Noise blanker, frequency counter off. FM, AM, and PA modes. Your band selector. Oh, we went too far coming back this way, didn't we? And then your uh, channel selector. All the uh, segments are good. No kind of issues there. Okay, so... Uh, won't take any more time than we need, we need to. Dimmer, check it as well. Dimmer's good. Um, we'll show you the output of it and uh, get this thing wrapped up. So I do have a 100-watt slug in here, 100-watt scale. We're going to be looking at the bottom scale. We've got the RF power wide open right now. So it's looking like it goes up to about 6 or 7 watts dead key. 20-plus average, which is pretty stout. All the way down. Hello. Again, 22, 23 average. Hello. Going from zero. PEP. Bottom scale, bottom scale, bottom scale, bottom scale. Uh, let's see, 65, 70 watts PEP. Audio, check one, two, three. Audio, one, two, three. Audio. And it'll do that all the way down or all the way up. Uh, we'll check and see how much current we're drawing. Hello. Now this is with the dead key wide open. That's why you see such a high amount just on a resting carrier. That's actually a 14.6, so we're not volting it or anything. Hello. Five and a half amps. So it should be a good radio for somebody. Pretty stout. Uh, turn the mic game down. Listen to it through this other radio. Hello. Audio check. One, two. Hello, check, one, two, audio, one, two, audio. So loud, seems to be clear. Should be a nice radio for somebody. Like I said, they don't make them anymore. They are just AM only. They don't have sideband or anything. AM and FM. I mean, if you guys want to see the output on FM, sure, why not? Carrier's carrier, so seven watts. All the way down to nothing, so... That's it, guys. It'll be uh, up on the website, roostercb.com. Just burning a little of the midnight oil here, going through some equipment. So, uh, hope you guys enjoy. Questions, comments, shoot me a text, 423-299-3535. Galaxy DX55 HP. Appreciate it, guys. Rooster in Tennessee. See you, bye.